Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we're gonna cover a couple topics surrounding the updated Samsung keyboard on Samsung One UI 6.1. Now, some of this has to deal with this little voice icon on the very bottom left hand side. This is your voice input, which means if you tap this, you start speaking, it'll put it into text for you. Now, if you have asked in past videos and as well inside of the Samsung members application underneath the community tab, if you ever have any questions or issues about your phone or device or anything Samsung, you can actually ask it right here and people will come in and answer it for you. But basically inside of there, I noticed a lot of questions around the new Samsung keyboard and one of them was this little mic icon. Now, some of them wanted to get rid of it because maybe they tapped it on accident or they want to just entirely get rid of it because maybe they don't use it. So one of the things that you are able to do is you can press and hold on this mic icon and you can switch it to the input mode. Or what you can do is you can go through and you can get rid of both of these and have it be completely empty on the very bottom left hand side. Now, if it was me, I just wish Samsung would put this little voice input back inside of the toolbar because the toolbar has so many different tools you can use and I feel it to be easier just to put it right there next to that little Galaxy AI icon. So if Samsung is listening, please move this one right back over inside of here that we can move it because you can hold seven different settings or different tools up here. Currently, I only have five, but yeah, you can move seven up there and one of them could be the easier to reach little voice input icon. So let's just go right back over here and let's get rid of this icon. So all you would have to do is inside of any application, you open up the keyboard, you hit the little settings icon, and then through here, you scroll down and this is where you can see voice input. Now for voice input, you can switch it from the Samsung voice input or you can move it over to the Google voice. So if you like Google voice better, then you can switch it over or you can tap on none. And so now when you go right on back, you go inside of here, you only have one icon left which is your input method. Now let's say maybe you don't wanna have this input method sitting there. You want it to be completely blank and black. I'll show you how you can do that as well. So for this one, all you'd have to do is tap on that little icon and you have this little button right here and you can turn this off and now it's completely gone. So anywhere you go in any application, it's completely blank on the very bottom left hand side. Now here's the thing. Let's say maybe you take a look at even your settings inside of the keyboard. And let's say that you accidentally turn off your keyboard toolbar. Now you can't get into the settings anywhere because you took away the keyboard. So how you're able to not only bring the keyboard back, but also bring back any of those icons on the bottom is you'll want to go inside of your settings. So to do that, you just want to pull down the notifications panel, click on settings, go all the way down. And this is where you see general management. So inside of general management, this is where you go to Samsung keyboard settings. Now this is where you can turn on two of those things. One of them is the keyboard toolbar. And then the other one is going to be with voice input one more time. So now that you've turned on your Samsung voice input or the Google voice typing, your little icon will pop up again on the very bottom left hand side. But let's say maybe you wanna have that other icon back, that little keyboard input icon. Now it's not inside of your Samsung keyboard. If you try to go inside of your Samsung keyboard settings, it's not sitting in here. You just wanna go back one more screen. You're gonna go right on back into that general management. And below this is this little area here, keyboard list and default. Now this is where you wanna go inside and you wanna select your keyboard button on navigation bar. Now you're right back into where you normally were at the very get-go. You've got your Samsung keyboard, you got your little microphone icon back inside of messages and everything else. And to show that, let's just go inside of messages. Let's tap here and there is my little voice icon sitting right on back and there is my input method. So now you know how you can switch between the two, also how you can turn one off or both of them off and also how to refine them one more time to bring them back. Now the next topic is talking about Magic Compose and Galaxy AI and how they differ from different applications. And honestly, it's very, very fun to play with the Shakespeare option. So first off, let's just go through here and let's just say, hey, uh, you know, hope you're having a great day. Now when you do that and you're inside of normal messaging here, so I'm using Google Messages, you'll have this little pen icon and this is Magic Compose. Now inside of here, what you can do is you can first look over at Remix and it's just gonna show you very simple, plain as day, remix or different version of what I just stated. 
or you can go inside of Shakespeare and you can have some really cool conversations with your friends. I was able to do that with a couple of buddies today. Here is your chill. You have a bunch of them sitting here. Here is lyrical. You also have excited. So it, pretty much however you want it to kind of look, no matter what you're kind of doing, you know, you can choose it. Now, the other thing that I want to show you here, let's just say that I want to go over inside of Shakespeare, tap there, hit send. So now let's show what this looks like with a different application. So let's just go inside of Twitter. And so for this one, we'll go inside of post and let's say, you know, hey, hope you're having a great day. Day. Okay, so for this one, you don't have that little icon that was sitting there from before, that little pen icon, but you have your Galaxy AI option and you can choose writing style. Now through here, you're not going to have as many options as you would inside of messaging, but you can still have everything and you can have it either as a list. So here's your original, here's your professional, casual, social, polite, emojify. And then over here, you can actually choose. So I believe if I was to probably text more, there might actually be more options for me to choose from. Um, but at least this is how you can see how it differs from applications. So I just want to say with this one, just go inside of different applications, click on that little Galaxy AI option, and you can just change how you want it to kind of look, you know, with, with you know, pretty much any application that you have. But I'd have to state if, if you're using Google Messages, this is so much fun. And that little icon is not going to show up until you put in words. So you probably have to do, you know, let's see here, enter text first. Now, just see how much fun this will look when you actually go through the whole Shakespeare thing. Again, this is just my favorite, um, but it's just so much fun. First, write a text in plain, simple prose, and I shall recite it until it fits. Verify within the confines of the text enter thou first. I mean, there's so many cool ways that you can just have a conversation with your friends or family, you know, with Shakespearean, um, I guess, words, I guess. But anyways, that was pretty much everything that I wanted to cover in this video was kind of how that Magic Compose Galaxy AI differs from different applications. Also, the biggest one, again, is on the very bottom where this little microphone is. You are able to change it. You can put it over inside of input method. You can keep it as your voice input. You can change your voice input from Samsung or Google, or you can just get rid of both of them completely. I just wish that Samsung would keep this little down arrow over here on the right-hand side. I believe most people are right-handed, so it kind of makes it easy for us to tap that. But with this one being so far on the other end of the phone, it's harder for me to tap this if I needed to do something, such as if I'm driving, it's harder for me to reach over there versus just right there. So again, when you're driving, voice to text is a little bit more safe than trying to compose the entire thing. So I suggest Samsung move this back over inside of your keyboard because we have seven slots and I really only use five. I would use the sixth one right here for voice input. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.